What's happening guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. This is the Bitcoin Maxi channel. I am the Bitcoin Maxi. Today we're going to be talking about patents, in particular Enchain patents. Enchain are the company behind BSV, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, the original Bitcoin protocol. And you're probably wondering why does crypto hate Mr. Craig Wright? Why did they say that he didn't invent Bitcoin? And why do they want to push this agenda so badly? Why do they need you to believe in this agenda? Why do they need to win the COPPA trial and have open patents for cryptocurrency? And it's because Enchain already have active patents on all this technology. So this isn't a pending patent. Many of the patents are pending and they won't be able to push legally towards other people shutting down their operations until those patents are approved. However, right now, they do have approved patents, and this is a worldwide application granted in 2014 and 2017 in the United States. So they've created a patent for a virtual currency system, which basically means, as far as I'm aware, that Bitcoin, the original Bitcoin protocol, is the virtual currency system in question, and anything other than this there's patents against that, and legally it won't be allowed in the long run. And Dr. Wright compares, uh, I can't remember how he actually, he used a metaphor to describe it. I'm going to use it as a steam train. So the steam train's moving really, really, really slowly, but eventually it's going to wipe out everything in sight. And he compares that to the government and enforcing these patents and enforcing people to play by the rules. So he called the collapse of Binance ages ago and said basically, yeah, it's like a it's like a slow moving steam train. It's gonna take some time to shut all these bad actors down, but eventually it will catch up and they all will get demolished. So is Ethereum technically breaking this patent of the virtual currency system? Are the other top cryptos basically breaking this patent on the virtual currency system. So this patent's for a system including a network connected to at least one mint computing device implementing a virtual currency mint. The network has ring topology and includes computing devices that implement a plurality of nodes. The mint issues units of virtual currency to users' accounts implemented by the nodes. Each of at least a portion of the nodes is configured to initiate as a sender node, a transaction with a recipient node that transfers at least one unit of the virtual currency from a sender to one of the user accounts to a recipient one of the user accounts. The recipient node validates the transaction, creates a receipt, performs an operation on the receipt to identify a storage node and routes the receipt to the storage node. The storage node stores the receipt, identifies the next storage nodes and route, routes copies of the receipt to the next storage nodes for storage thereby. So. Before Ethereum moved to proof of stake, they were also a mining currency, a proof of work mining currency. And so they could be infringing on some trademarks when they first operated. Although they did change in the end, maybe that's why they actually changed. So Vitalik comes forward and says, oh, BSV is a fraud. Craig Wright isn't really Satoshi. Well, why are people like uh, Ethereum, why is Vitalik changing his protocol because of active patents that Enchain hold. It seems that he's changed his protocol because of these active patents. Did he change the proof of stake because he wanted to change the proof of stake? Or did he change the proof of stake because he was forced to change the proof of stake? That we don't know right now. So, yeah, Dr. Craig Wright has active patents in the crypto and blockchain industry. I believe a lot of these top blockchains are breaking his patents. This is just one of his patents. They've got you know thousands of pending patents and a few active ones. I just need to go through and look at some of the, more of these active ones. But it definitely seems like anyone else with a quote unquote virtual currency system, which is basically everyone that owns and operates a cryptocurrency co co company will need to pay Mr. Craig Wright to stay in business. So it's all looking towards Bitcoin Satoshi Vision adoption. They have the patents. 
they have the partnerships, they have the speed, they have the reliability and safety of the Bitcoin network. And they're working with governments worldwide to implement their virtual currency system. And they can't do that until Binance are gone, until Tether are gone, and until USDC at least clear up, you know, figure out what the hell's going on, or they're gone as well. So we need to get rid of these bad actors before this can all get regulated and we can finally start seeing Bitcoin accepted everywhere. Because that will come. Hyper-Bitcoinization will come. And it won't be on the BTC network using Lightning Network. That's too complicated for everyone to use. It will be on the Layer 1 solution. The patented virtual currency system of Bitcoin patented by Robert Scott McGregor for Enchain, which is a Dr. Craig Wright company. Hope you guys are starting to figure out what's really going on in crypto. There are patents against all these other cryptocurrencies. The train is coming, the slow moving train, and some people will get run over. Most, you know, most cryptocurrency businesses will get run over. I'm a bit worried about my other investments. How how are they going to do? Will they pay the bribes to Craig Wright if, if he wins the COPPA trial? Will they stay in business? Will they be able to afford to stay in business? That's just, we're going to have to wait and see. So, yes, although there are potentially huge returns to be made in these lower cap cryptos, I am personally invested in some of these lower cap cryptos that I do believe are going to take off. But at the end of the day, there are active patents against these companies or these crypto projects that I've invested in. There are patents against them. And at one particular time, if you don't sell your positions, you could get wiped out by one of these patents or by something that Mr. Wright is enforcing. So, yeah, I believe like all the top people behind the scenes knows that he's Satoshi Nakamoto. That's why they're misleading the public um, so that they can keep raising money into BTC at these prices before everyone wakes up to what's going on. And that way they can have centralized control over the original Bitcoin protocol because they're raising money at a high price and buying suppressed assets with that. So this patents for the virtual currency system and chain BSV to the moon.